And now at 6, a massive show of respect and support for fallen officer Sean Gannon as hundreds of officers from all over the state and the country lined the streets on the Cape for his wake tonight in Yarmouth. It is a moving sight that shows just how much this tragedy has affected so many people. I'm David Wade. And I'm Paula Evan in for Lisa Hughes. The line to pay respect to Officer Gannon stretches on and on tonight. WBC's Bill Shields is live in Yarmouth. Bill? And Paula, you know, I think in the last couple of days, I've learned why the line stretches on and on. I didn't know Sean Gannon, but it seems like everyone else around here knew of him. If they didn't know him, they knew of him. And it's largely because from what I've learned in the last few days of what this young man's heart was all about. He was all about volunteering when he was out of uniform. He was someone who worked with the Boys and Girls Clubs. He, he worked helping addicts on the street. He did a lot of this in his off time. When he was in uniform, he was a dog officer that would sometimes show up at elementary schools in the morning with his dog just to say hi to the kids as they were going into school. That's what Sean Gannon was all about. We spoke with um, Chief Frank Fredrickson a little while ago, who was still, even since Thursday when Sean died, was still very, very choked up trying to talk about the young man he hired. Um, and even the police chief before him, Peter Carnes. I talked with Peter yesterday, who knew Sean well. Sean stayed at his house a number of times, friends with his son. Everyone from police chiefs down to people on the street cannot say enough about Sean Gannon. That's why this church right now is full of people. The parking lot is full of people. The street is full of first responders. Station Ave, all the way up to DY High School, it's all first responders. And that's for the wake today. Tomorrow for the funeral, it should be even heavier. And I think, again, all because of this young man's character, the way he conducted himself in uniform and out of uniform. He was exemplary for anyone who wanted to watch him and to try to emulate what Sean Gannon was all about. And uh, personally, I did not know him. I, <laughs> I feel sort of cheated that I didn't know him. But today, people are here to pay their respects at the wake to the family, to his friends. And he had a lot of friends. He had a good family and a lot of friends. And they are here right now. And earlier today, we spoke with people who started lining up on Station Ave at about 2.30. These are people that never knew him. They never knew Sean Gannon, but they knew what he did. And I think, like me, a lot of them learned about him in the last few days. Here's what some of them had to say about a young police officer that they didn't know. I just can't imagine what's going through his family's mind. Such a young, promising young man, and I'm 65 years old. It just it doesn't seem right that I'm here and he's not. That lady was very nice, and she begged me not to use that sound bite, but I told her, I said, we're the same age, and I feel kind of the same way. Uh, like I said, I wish I would have known Sean Gannon. I've known Chief Fredrickson a long time, uh, and Deputy Exaros. They are very, very, still very emotional over this. Uh, I think it's going to be an emotional time for this, not just this town, but this region. And in fact, the governor has ordered that the state be lit in blue tonight from the Zakem Bridge to Government Center to South Station. And people here in Yarmouth, you can't drive into this town without seeing a utility pole or a tree wrapped in a blue ribbon. And tonight, I think this is all social media phenomenon. A lot of people have gone out today and bought blue light bulbs to put in their front porches and their front porch lights. So Yarmouth will, I think, be awash in blue tonight. You're hearing the bagpipes. The wake will go on till about 8 o'clock tonight, but my bet is that it's going to go longer than that, judging from the crowds here. Uh, then tomorrow, the funeral for Sean Gannon, and hopefully the healing can begin uh, for this community, for his family, for his widow, uh, and for this police department that is uh, obviously very, very hurt by the loss of this 32-year-old police officer. Um, 
I think it's going to be a long time before anyone around here, I don't think anyone will forget Sean Gannon. I think his memory is going to be etched in stone here. Reporting live from Yarmouth, I'm Bill Shields, WBZ News. It's a moving tribute and important. Bill Shields, thank you. Hard to read the patches on the arms of the police officers going by, but Yarmouth police had said that they expected to see officers from as far away as California and Texas to